Hey guys, it's Camille, and today is the first time I've ever been able to accomplish something like this. I've always wanted to be able to bleach my hair from essentially black to white in just one round and have been experimenting for years now, and this is the best method I've ever discovered, so I hope this helps you out. I always prep my hair a few days in advance by doing either French or Dutch braids because that way it gives your scalp time to build up some natural oils and that will help protect your scalp from being irritated by the bleach. Plus you already have it parted perfectly in half and the braids keep your hair tangle free which is especially helpful if you have textured or curly hair that takes longer to part. So first you want to unbraid just one side since this method is based on you doing one side at a time. Right now my roots are 5 inches and of medium thickness so if you have thinner hair than mine, I would recommend making less of the bleach mixture, and if you have thicker hair than mine, I would make more of it. I also recommend tracking your root length and how much product you use so it's easier for you to estimate the next time. Next, section your hair into super thin vertical sections and make sure that they are really thin sections so you can get the absolute best saturation possible, which is the only way that this method will work. I used some of those tiny clear rubber bands for your hair to hold each small section together and it made the entire process so much easier. You don't have to worry about parting during, which makes the process easier and faster. I've been trying out different techniques and the biggest problem I noticed is that since I have curly hair, it takes longer to make sections as I go during the process and because time is of the essence, I'm usually rushing but by doing the sectioning first and only doing one side at a time, it perfectly eliminates that problem and gives me time to make sure everything is perfect the first time around so there doesn't have to be a second time around. This is actually not part of the tutorial but I'm showing you to explain the mess I have made of my life. Right now I'm going through a lot of emotions here. There's pain confusion, even a little regret, because I had just gotten my industrial pierce a couple weeks before this, so it was very fresh and painful, so I had to use some saran wrap and tape to make a DIY cover of some sort for my ear to avoid getting bleach in it. So definitely hold off on any ear piercings until you're done bleaching your hair. Now it's time to weigh out the ingredients, and using a scale is the best way to measure the ratio, as well as being a good way to keep track of how much you use so you know for next time you bleach your hair. I put the mixing bowl on the scale, zeroed it out, and started measuring out my bleach powder. So I added some, oh wait, no, the scale died. Good thing I've lost this one before and bought another one as a backup scale. So now it's time to weigh out your ingredients and oh my god this one is dead too. Good thing I've also lost this one before and bought a backup for the backup scale and this one better work or I swear I'm gonna- oh this one works. So now we're back in business and the bleach I'm using is the Schwarzkopf Blonde Me Bond and Forting Premium Lightener which is my current favorite bleach because it already includes a bond builder in the formula and it's powerful enough to lift up to 9 levels which is exactly what we're going for today. That means going from my hair which is an extremely dark brown to the lightest blonde we can get which will end up being an extremely light yellow before toning. The recommended ratio for bleach to developer is 1 to 1.5 up to 1 to 2.5. So I went right down the middle for a 1 to 2 ratio because it gives it the perfect consistency and it's the right amount of thick. It's like I can tell you've been doing your deadlifts type thick, but less than BBL level and that makes the best bleach consistency to spread easily and fully saturate your hair while still being a strong ratio. I'm using my trusty Ion Absolute Perfection Kit, which has always been good to me, and mixing this into a really homogenous paste. After adding up all the bleach I used now, and the rest I used in a later batch to finish when I ran out at the end, <laughs> I used a total of two ounces of bleach, so I accordingly used a total of four ounces of developer. The developer I use is the 30 volume Schwarzkopf professional blonde me <laughs> premium developer which is the lightest volume I currently put in my hair in order to get a very strong lightening effect but without frying my hair. I also chose this because the bomb builder I'm using recommends that you increase your developer strength by one full volume. So for example a 20 volume job would have you using a 30 volume developer instead. And I found that taking that into account as well as the fact that there's a bond builder built into the bleach powder already, 30 has been the best volume to do this job in my experience. 
The better you mix, the better your results will be, and you really don't want chunks of unmixed bleach in your hair. It will slow you down and ruin your afternoon. Next, I'm taking one section at a time, spreading this all over my roots from scalp to the point where the roots meet the already bleached hair. Professionals will tell you to do this, but without bleaching the half inch closest to your scalp, and then do those after the rest of your head is saturated, which makes sense because that part processes faster because of the heat of your head. But personally, I don't do that. It's already hard enough doing everything quickly to make sure that it processes evenly. I'm already doing this backwards. And the only thing I'm looking for out of bleaching my hair is to get the lightest base possible so I can paint colors on it. But if I wanted to do blonde as the final color and not something that I'm just painting on top of, I would definitely be more careful. Taking one section at a time, I started from the bottom of my head, leaving out the very fine hairs on the edges, then work my way forwards. I do it this way because I feel like the hair at the bottom is stronger because it doesn't get as much sun damage and it feels thicker. And it's like that for a lot of people, so that's what I recommend. The secret to damaging your hair as little as possible is not overlapping on the already bleached hair. It's already gone through the harsh process, so bleaching it again is more damaging and will put you at risk of frying your hair. So I try to go as close to the line as possible, making sure I got everything, and then feathering the bleach out the tiniest bit to blend it into the already bleached hair, because you really don't want a gap there. After I finish doing all of the main hair, I do the same thing to the more delicate hairs along the edges and the front and back of my head since these don't need as long to process. And next I'm using a protein treatment on all of the hair that's already been bleached so it can help strengthen that hair in the meantime while this is processing because I might as well be getting something productive done while I'm waiting. And it's also nice as a little barrier so the bleach can't drip into that hair as much. I started a stopwatch to time how long it took until the bleach finished processing and put some saran wrap on my head to trap in the heat. This is how it looks after I finish processing at about 40 minutes and then rinse it out and let part two of the bond builder sit in my hair for 10 minutes. On day two, I did the same thing to the other side, and this is how it turned out, which I think is absolutely incredible for just one round of bleaching, and could also easily be made neutral blonde with a quick toner if you wanted a more neutral color or base for a color. But for me, this is the perfect base for the color I wanted to do next. I'm so glad I got it down to just one round, because not only is it annoying to have to bleach your whole head twice, but every time you bleach the same hair, it adds more trauma, and I'm sure you've already had enough of that during your childhood. Everything I used is linked in the description box, except those little clear hair ties because the ones I got break way too easily and I hate them and I do not recommend getting this brand. All of my social media is also linked down there as well, so you might as well get it out of the way and follow me on all of them now. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all a happy, happy life. Bye!